Hey, what's up, YouTube? Cyber here. I thought it would be fun to show you how to create a frequency-based uh, transient designer similar to what you might find in Eventide's Split EQ or Oak Sound's Spiff. Um, the results are pretty cool, so I figured I'd make a video about it. So let's um, check it out. Okay, so I have a new instance of Snap Heap here, and what we're going to do is grab the channel mixer, and there is a preset here called Invert Phase, if you forget. Um, but it really, all it is is these two knobs move to the left, and we can copy this over and move them to the right. And that's not going to do anything to our signal until we hit this parallel button, and we should get a null. And there we go, it's nulling. Now what we can do is um, grab a transient shaper and copy this over. And what we can do is create a macro for sustain or transient. And we want to pull, let's create our attack, um, our sustain state here by putting the attack down and sustain up on both of these and the speed down. I found that the results were the best when I set it up like this. So what we can do is grab this macro and create our attack state like this. Attack up, attack up, sustain down, sustain down, speed up, and speed up. Now we have our sustain state and our attack state, which is pretty cool. So we can collapse this. And what we have now is this area over here which is our sort of area that will affect our null, our, our delta area, if you will. And then we have an uh, area over here, the rest of Snap Heap, with which we could put any of the effects in Kilohertz ecosystem onto just the stain or the attack part of a signal. So if we take, say, Slice EQ and um, uh, listen to our null here, you'll see it coming through, but then it gets nulled after. If I put this on to, let's say, the transient state here, I can add in transient like this. And um, if I wanted to, I could put this to sustain. And let's say put just reverb or delay on the sustain portion of a signal. which, you know, has a lot of practical mixing applications, really. Like, let's say you had a vocal and you wanted to put some delay and reverb on it, but the syllabants of that signal, you didn't want those, like, pokey syllabant parts, like, getting delayed and creating sort of annoying delays. So you could just put the delay here on the sustain portion of the signal and get a nice wide vocal delay without those annoying bits. So that's an easy way to do it. Um... You know, there's also tons of like creative effects that you might try doing in here, like putting some notch filters in and modulating those for some like phasey effects. Like definitely experiment with doing stuff in this Delta um, area and seeing what kind of weird sounds you can get. And let me know in the comments if you discover anything super cool. Um, so, you know, you can save this now as um, a preset and we'll call it like split EQ clone. I'm going to make this three since I've done a couple of them now. And so if I save this to my mixing, um, what I can do then is run it in parallel in a new snap heap and just load up and nest it right in here and grab my clone. And there it is. So you can um, easily just be like, all right, let's um, blend in that sustain reverb and uh, on just the you know low mids. So there it is. It's in parallel. The sustain's a little quieter, uh, so you might have to boost it up. But um, let's put a reverb on and. Now our, um, you know, transients are staying super clean and the drum reverbs are, you know, adding, filling out the space a little bit. Um, so that's pretty cool. Lots of things you can do with that. Uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, quick 
tutorial and um, I'll save this uh, little clone preset for uh, my $1 Patreons. Um, if you haven't liked the video or subscribed to the channel, please do that. It helps me out. And until next time, I'll see you later.